Are you tired of managing your applications manually? Are you looking for a better way to scale and deploy your applications with ease? Look no further than the PM2 Node.js package. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the PM2 Node.js package to manage your applications like a professional or like a pro. Hello everybody, welcome to Coding 101. My name is Scootler. In this channel, we're on a mission to making you a better developer one video at a time. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, then be sure to check out our channel for many content that will help improve your coding skills one video at a time. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and if you have any comments, you can leave them in the comment section. Without wasting much of your time, let's continue with our video, and let me first start off by explaining exactly what PM2 is, because I understand that many of you beginners might, be not, might not be familiar with this technology. PM2 is a production-grade Node.js process manager that makes it easy to manage and scale your Node.js applications. With PM2, you can manage your applications with ease, you can restart them automatically in the case that they crash, you can deploy them to multiple servers with zero downtime. PM2 also provides a built-in load balancer and can automatically restart applications if they crash. Now in order to use PM2, then we need to install PM2. And because PM2 is a Node.js application, what we can do is that we can install it globally using this command over here. So this command, as you might know, will install PM2 globally on your system. Now that our applications has successfully, sorry, now that our package has successfully been installed in our system, what we need to do now is we need to use PM2. But before we do that, let me show you the advantages of using PM2 compared to the traditional ways of starting or managing your applications. So I have an application over here. It's a simple express server that I've created in my previous videos as a simple express server, as you can see. So now I'm going to start this express server the way that we would normally start this express server. We would just say node app.js. And just like that, our server is running. So there are a couple of disadvantages with running your application in this traditional way. The, uh, the one disadvantage is that the moment we close this command prompt, our applications stops running. So let's close this. Then immediately now, we know that our application, which was running on port 5001 is no longer running. We can no longer connect to it because the moment we close the command prompt, then our application has crashed. That's one disadvantage of using uh, the traditional way of running our application. Now let's run it again. Let me show you one more disadvantage. Another disadvantage is that we c we've already occupied this command prompt. That means if we want to start other applications, we, ha we would have to start even more command prompt. So we would have to open up another tab of a command prompt. This is very disadvantageous, especially if you're using an Ubuntu server, which has one shell script where you can actually run your commands. So you can't open multiple tabs using Ubuntu unless it's a technology that I'm not familiar with. So this is a very big disadvantage for us. But with PM2, this is much easier to do. So now let me show you how to run an application using PM2. So with PM2, in order to run this application, what we would simply do is we would say PM2 start app.js. Now let me show you what's going to happen. So what's going to happen now is that PM2 is going to run your application, but it's going to run in the background. So what that essentially means is that even if we close this command prompt, our app is going to continue running. Even if we close this, so let's just close it right now. So you can see this is just, we didn't uh, address this get path over here. So we would expect the same to happen. So that essentially means that our application is running. So I just managed to fix that route. And you can see that now our application is running on port 5001, even after we've closed the command prompt. So what this essentially means is that even after running this application, we can use the same command prompt in order to run our application because PM2 has enabled our application to run in the background. Now, when we started our PM2 application, you saw a table. Let me just try and show it to you again. So. This is sort of a monitoring table. This is where you monitor your application. So this uh, command over here is PM2LS. And so when you run that PM2LS, you will see a table with the following columns that you see. Uh, first is the app name, and then over here is the ID of the app. So you can configure your app to have a certain name, and then you have the mode of your application, you have the PID of the application, the status of the application. As you can see over here, this, the status can range from online, stopping, stopped, 
an error. So those those statuses reflect uh, the active status of the application. And then you have restart, which is the number of times the application has been restart. And then you have like uptime, which represents the amount of time the application has been running. So you can use PM2LS to quickly check the status of your applications and monitor their uptime. For example, if an application is showing an error or stopped, you can use PM2 restart like this. PM2 restart. And then you put here the ID of the application, or you can also put that name of the application. And so you can do that, and this will automatically restart that application without having to do it manually. Additionally, if you're managing multiple applications with PM2, you can use the watch flag with PM2 LS to watch for changes in the status of your application. This can be useful to keeping track of multiple applications at once. Now, overall, PM2 is a powerful command that provides a quick and easy way to monitor the status of your applications that are being managed by PM2. Now, if you want to stop your application, you can stop it like this. You can just say PM2 stop and then put the ID again over there and then your application will be successfully stopped if you want to restart it. Once again, like I just showed you, you can just say PM2 restart and then immediately your application will start. If you want to read the logs of this application, you can just say PM2 logs and then you can just click uh, put in the that ID and you can see the active uh, logs uh, Regarding your application so you can see these are the logs and these are the previous logs that we had in a previous application that I had So but now these are the logs that we currently have for our application So now we can like leave it like this and we'll be able to see the current logs of our application now there's another important PM2 command that is known as PM2 monit, which displays real time monitoring data for your applications being run or being managed by PM2. So we, let's just run this uh, command over here. So that's PM2 monit. So this just shows real time information regarding your application. This command is particularly useful for monitoring the performance of your applications and identifying any potential issues. When you run PM2 monit, you will see a real time dashboard like you're seeing right now with the following information, which is the CPU usage, the memory usage, the process ID of the application, the name of the applications being managed, as well as the status uh, and the amount of time that application will be restarted. So this is a, a little bit more comprehensive compared to the PM2 LS. You can use the PM2 Monit to quickly identify any potential issues with your application's performance, such as a high CPU or memory usage. This can help you optimize your application and ensure it is running smoothly. So that's it for today's tutorial regarding um, PM2. Uh, we've explored what PM2 is, how to install it, and how to use it to manage your Node.js applications. With PM2, you can easily manage and scale your applications, making it the perfect tool for any Node.js developer. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.